Welcome to another fly tying tutorial from Fishbait's Fly Box. Today I'm going to tie the Mahalo Nymph. It's an awesome Pyramid Lake fly. It was actually created for the Pyramid Lake. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with uh, I've got what I've got in the vise is a TMC 3761 size 12 and a 1/8 inch white bead. Uh, this is the albino wino version. The original had a, a gold or copper bead. And I'm going to take this 020 lead wire and I'm going to wrap a dozen wraps around it. I'm just going to shove that up the hook. I'm going to have to bead, bring it to the end of the hook there. And I'm going to take my, I'm going to use some uh, UTC 70 uh, wine colored thread and I'm just going to start that right behind the lead wire. All the way bend of the hook, and then I'm going to take 10 to 12 um, pheasant tail fibers, and I'm going to tie in the tail with it. And the tail is going to be one half to a full hook shank length long, and I'm going to tie that around. I'm going to, how I'm going to do this? I'm going to put pressure on this side of the hook with my index finger. And I'm going to wrap that around. That's just so that the tail fibers don't wrap around the hook shank. And bring it around there. And I'm going to cut the butt, butt ends of these other of the tail fibers. And then I'll build it up a little bit here, tie it down a little more. Okay, and now I'm going to take some, what I have here is about, I don't know, six inches of uh, brazy ultra wire. It's in silver. And I'm going to tie that in for the ribbing. Just right there near the top of the hook there. It doesn't have to be perfectly on the top. And then I'm going to take, after I got that tied in, what I've got is some wine colored hollow tinsel from UTC. And it's in medium. And I will tie that in on the hook shank. And this will be the abdomen. A couple loose, a couple of fairly loose wraps, but not too loose, just so I can pull that tight. Pull that. Oops. Put a little too much pressure onto it. And wrap that to the bend of the hook, and then bring the thread forward. And what I'm going to do from here is I want to build a taper between the hook shank and the lead wire there for the hollow tinsel to sit smoothly on. I'm going to twist that a little bit to get a flatter thread. Not quite smooth yet. We are getting even closer. And I'm going to Okay, that's pretty close. Um, maybe a little bit more on the tail in there. Now I'm going to half hitch it and use my rotary function on my vise, put the thread in the bobbin and I'm going to wrap the hollow tinsel as around the body of the fly to create the abdomen. And as I'm wrapping this I want to just have it just barely overlap, overlap the other previous wrap. I'm just going to keep going with it. You want to keep tension on this hollow tinsel as you're wrapping it so you don't lose the um, wraps on it because if you lose, uh, take the tension off of it, it'll unwind. I'll wrap it to about there. And 
And then I'll take my thread and tie it off. At that point I'm going to put a couple more wraps in there, do another half hitch. Put it back in my bobbin cradle. And now we're going to wrap the ribbing around the fly. We're wrapping out just one evenly spaced wraps, not too close together, but not too far apart. Uh, the admin will roughly be a rough, be roughly four ribs deep, and then we'll should start right around there. Should start the thorax. The same thing. Keep fresh pressure on that tension on that ultra wire so it doesn't come unwound, and it won't unwound horribly bad, but trying to wind it back up to get the tension right you just have to redo it all it becomes a mess so and then I'll take and twist that off and I'm gonna put a couple more wraps on there I'm gonna half hitch it one more time and I'm going to put some cure cure glue do hydro on the abdomen. You don't necessarily have to do it. I do it for durability, for the more durability of the fly. Um, some people say that they worry about the smell of the glues and things affect their flies, but my opinion is, is if glue is going to affect the smell of the fly, so are your fingers. So it's not really going to make a difference if if you're touching them. Use my bog can and spread it around on there. And then I'm going to blast it with my light. And now move my bottom cradle, take my thread, do a couple more couple wraps around there, and I'm going to take some UTC Mirage Opal Tinsel, and this is in large, to create the wing case. So I'm going to use as much as I can to little as I can on, uh, hanging off the back of the fly there and I'm going to pull it so that the tinsel stays on top of the fly standard on top of the fly then I'll wrap it around keeping it, trying to make sure that it stays there and there's my abdomen and if you count from where the thread is there's roughly there might be a little more like five there's four or five ribs there and what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to use some pheasant tail uh, excuse me, some ice dub in the pheasant tail color and dub my thread to create the thorax. I, li I like this pheasant tail uh, dubbing. I also like UV cinnamon for this fly. I prefer the UV cinnamon for the red version rather than the, the albino wino version. But either or, I like it. So. And then we're at, after we've got the thorax tied in, we're going to take another 10 to 12 pheasant tail fibers and tie them in for legs. I'm going to tighten my, th uh, yeah, tighten my thread up so it's a string rather than a cord rather than flat. And I'm going to line them up there along the fly, and I'm going to pull on them until they are roughly tips are roughly where the hook point is. And then I'm going to cut them off. Cut the butt ends off. Sit it up against the fly. Cut those off. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I've got 10 or 12 um, pheasant tail fibers and I'm going to do the same thing. Tighten it up and wrap it around a couple wraps and bring it These fibers, even with the other ones. A little more. Perfect. Now, if you watched what I was doing, I was squeezing the legs against the oak shank so I can make sure that they were squared and evened up. And I'm going to tighten, tighten that, put another wrap around the front of the fibers, and trim them up against the bead there. Now, I'm going to take my hollow tinsel, or tinsel. Mirage tinsel. I'm going to take it and I'm going to tie it in, pull it over the top and tie it in for the wing case, keeping the tinsel um, 
in the middle of the hook shank. Do a couple wraps, wrap in the front, and trim it down right at the bead. And then I'll put a couple more wraps in there, and we're going to whip finish to create the head. Three. Do one more. One, two, three. Cut the thread. And then I'm going to take some more cure, 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 clear cure goo hydro and coat the wing case in it again for durability of the fly. And I'll do my thread wraps around the head too. You don't need a ton of it, just a dab. Just a dab enough to cover that wing case. Shank and blast it with the light. And there we go. And that is the Mahalo Nymph. We'll go through and trim up some of the scraggly dubbing here. But that is the Mahalo Nymph. Great pyramid lake fly. And it's the albino wino version. Anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial. Please remember to like Fishbaits Flybox on Facebook, to subscribe to Landstein's YouTube channel, and to stay up to date with Fishbaits Flybox blog by subscribing to it at fishbaitsflybox.com. Thank you, and have a nice have a nice day.